Ooh, what's good, family? It's your man, the YB. Back once again. Big shout out to my doggy DM for coming through and boosting the coin up. One million percent. So, my doggy Joe Joyce, has aired out Deontay, Shionte Wilder, begging to clap the cheeks. Yeah, Joe Joyce said, I'd love to fight. I'd love to push back Deontay Wilder's big, long basketball player having ass legs, looking ass wig. 100%. That's what he said. Yeah, you can read it there. Yeah, Joe Joyce. I'd love to push back Deontay Wilder's long ass, long, lanky looking ass basketball player having ass legs and Barnet. 100%. And he goes into some more detail explaining what exactly he wants to do to Deontay Wilder's. Big long basketball player having ass. He says, that's a big fight. I'd love to give him the squabbles. I'd love to give him the hands. I'd love to give him the five times the average man's bone density. Yeah. Listen, Joe Joyce, he ain't got a normal bont, bon, sorry. Yeah, he ain't. Listen, this man's bont is something Deontay Wilder ain't even been a little bit close to. Wilders used to pay him people to jump on the floor. Joe Joyce ain't on no jump on the floor thing. Yeah, he come into squabble. He bring in all five times of his bone density as well. Yeah, this ain't one of them ones. Joe Joyce goes on. American fans know who I am. I trade in Vegas. It'd be an interesting fight to make down the line. Down the line, the fuck? He's obviously got phenomenal power against bums. It's those kinds of fantasy matchups to everyone gets talking about it's a good feeling i already knew my abilities like i always knew i would get there and now i'm kind of here so there's plenty of great fights for me to be a part of i'm obviously in a good position as the wbo interim champion that means i could be getting elevated to full champion very soon if jusic doesn't want to squabble it up when they call for their mandatories. I don't know. There's so many good fights out there. If anyone wants to fight me, give me a call. I'm ready. Now, you might listen. After Joyce pushed back Joseph Parker's wig, I came out for a good week or two campaigning and trying to pass Joe Joyce the game. Joe Joyce and his goofy team ignored everything I had to say. And unfortunately, Joe Joyce dropped the ball and it's been how long now? It's been probably a month. It's been a month since Joe Joyce beat Parker. And guess what? Nothing's happened. Nothing at all. And, in, and instead we find ourselves here. Joe Joyce once again begging and waffling. About if anyone wants to fight me. Give me a call. What the fuck? Yeah. Joe. This is why you spent two years after your best win doing nothing. Yeah. Statements and Actions like these. Oh, if anyone wants. Who's going to want to fight a six foot seven berm off with five times the average human man's bone density? Who wants that? No one wants that. Yeah? Get it into your literally thick skull. Yeah? Big dense bone have an ass. Get it through that dense bone of yours. No one ain't going to fight you unless it's forced. We already know you sick shit himself. That's, the, that's what the. It's not, not my opinion. That's what the evidence shows. The evidence shows. Usyk didn't want nothing to do with a Joe Joyce. And he's, he's got here a month later now. A month. Listen, I said to Joe, I'll do it for free. Joe's team should have been putting it on the WBO. To call for Joyce versus Usyk and or the stripping of Usyk. That's what should have been happening in the last month. Instead, Joyce's team has done nothing. Apart from cuck themselves. Oh yeah, we're going to wait for Fury and Usyk. What the fuck? Someone explain that to me, please. Someone explain it. Now, my bet is, most likely, Frank Warren's playing a great game on Joe Joyce. Frank Warren's told Joe, yeah, Joe, cuck yourself. And if you cuck yourself for the next three years, then I'll get you the Tyson Fury fight, which is much bigger. That's, I reckon, the only play here that Frank Warren could be playing. Yeah, Joe, don't force the WBO now so that Fury can fight Usyk and then I'll get you the Fury fight, which is a lot more money than the Usyk fight. That's the only way it makes sense to me. There's no other way apart from Joe Joyce's team being completely inept, which also might be the case. 
It might be the case that Frank Warren hasn't promised anything. And Frank Warren's literally just stringing Joe Joyce and his dopey B-level team along. But I'd like to give them some credit. Jesus, surely there must be there must be something on a bit of string for Joe to be sitting there cucking himself. There's absolutely no reason Joe Joyce shouldn't be demanding the WBO shot now. Joe Joyce shouldn't care what Tyson Fury's got going on. Tyson Fury's fighting Derek Chisora. Fucking hell. Yeah? You six doing God knows what in Poland. Since when is it your job to worry about what other dudes are doing? I don't get that. Oh, my name's Joe Joyce and I'm worrying what Tyson Fury is doing and what Usyk's doing. And now he's talking about fighting Wilder down the line. Listen, I'd love that fight. I'm the first, I'm the biggest Joe Joyce advocate there is. But from what I see, you ain't getting that fight. Yeah? You ain't getting that fight until you've got a belt at least. Joe Joyce is one of the guys who needs a belt. He needs a belt bad. That'll be his leverage. Instead, and that's what I mean, his team should be right now bang on it, thirsting for a belt, doing whatever they can. Bear in mind, look at Dillian White. Dillian White waited, cucked himself for three years and then went to court. It's no good waiting, it's too late then. And I wouldn't mind so much, but this guy's already been waiting. He waited for, he beat Dubois back in 2020. Took his team two years to figure out a Joseph Parker fight. And even that fell through and only happened because Joe Parker allowed it to. Which shows you how much power Joe Joyce doesn't have. Joe Joyce couldn't even really, couldn't even lock in a fight against D-level Parker in that sense. Parker don't bring nothing. Parker was trying to use the Joe Joyce fight as his own come up. That was the way Joe Joyce, I mean, Joe Parker got back into contention. Parker didn't bring really anything to the table apart from being a has-been, in that sense. And even that, so wait a minute, Joe Joyce's team could barely organise a fight with a has-been, which was really on the road to nowhere. It took them two years to work out, to barely work out a fight against a nobody. And now, Joe Joyce is back in no man's land. And I'm telling you now, of all the top guys... Wilder, I mean, it's not, you you got Joe Joyce here talking about Wilder. Again, I love the fight, but we have to be realistic here. Wilder is fighting Ruiz next. That's just been ordered by the WBC. So forget about Wilder. Forget about it. Not happening. Wilder's fighting Ruiz. That fight is ten times bigger, literally, than the, jo- than the Joyce fight. Ruiz brings the whole Mexican dons, and Wilder brings the kind of American thing. The American buff dons thing. So forget about Wilder. And instead, Joe Joyce. What's wait a minute? The one guy Joe Joyce should definitely be forgetting about, he talking about. Meanwhile, Usyk in Poland doesn't have a fight booked. I mean, if there was ever a time, yeah, for Joe Joyce's team to be out here saying, why should we wait for Tyson Fury and Usyk when Tyson Fury's got another fight booked and Usyk's free? Now should be the time Joyce's team is out there screaming, WBO, make me versus Usyk now, whilst Tyson Fury is busy. We know categorically Fury ain't going to fight Usyk in the next two months. So why don't me and Usyk fight now in the meantime? This is the perfect time to do it. It's no good waiting until Fury's beat Chisora, then you've got no leg to stand on. Because Fury and Usyk can play Ring of Ring of Roses for the next two years in fake negotiations. Now's the time to move. Yeah, Usyk fought in, Dece- in August. He's already been out of the ring for two two months. Perfect. Usyk, you've had two months off already. Me and you get in the ring for February. That's what Joy should be banging on day in, day out on Instagram. And legally, his team should be applying pressure to WBO. He should be lodging his grievance with the WBO. That's what Joy should be saying every day. Not Wilder. Not not a man you know categorically. Listen, what? Listen. What's the point mentioning someone you know? It's absolutely impossible for that fight to happen. Listen, listen to me very carefully here. There is zero percent chance Wilder versus Joyce can happen next. Wilder has been ordered to fight Ruiz. So forget about it. Love. I, I, I'd like that fight. Yeah, cool, we'd all like that fight. Not. You know what I'm saying? Joe, let's break this down. Of all the fights you've liked, how many have you actually got over the last four years? Oops. 
yeah? You only got the Dubois fight because they wanted it. Do you understand? That's not you. You can't. No one, yeah, can point to Joyce versus Dubois and cite that as an example of Joyce's team getting a fight because they didn't get anything. Joyce, Dubois gave them the fight. That doesn't count. Again, Joseph Parker, they didn't get that fight. Parker gave you the fight because Parker pulled out of the fight, showing you had no control whatsoever. Joyce's team haven't organised any fights for him on their own terms. They've always been the B-side. Even after winning, even after beating Dubois, you're still the B-side. Even after beating Parker, you're still the B-side. And now, once again, I can't even really blame other people because the only people acting like B-sides is Team Joyce. Who do you know? Do you think Tyson Fury would say, yeah... My name's Tyson Fury. I'm going to wait for two other men to do what they're doing. Absolutely not. He's making his own plays, and rightfully so. But be, listen, but B-side Joe Joyce and his team seem happy. Yeah, my name's Joe Joyce, and I'm happy to wait for Fury music to finish messing around. That's what Frank Warren came on Talk Sport immediately after Joe Joyce beat Parker and said, yeah, well, Joe's going to have to wait until after Fury and music in two years' time. And Joe, and Joe was like, yeah, yeah, it's great, yeah. Who does that? Joyce should be saying, listen, I'm the daddy here, yeah? F Tyson Fury, F Usyk, I want my shot now. If Usyk wants to fight Fury, he can fight me first and then fight Fury. Fury's busy in December. I mean, ha- I said this a month ago as well, when it was even more relevant. In the last month, Joe Joyce has not mentioned fighting Usyk immediately once. Can you believe that? And he's now talking about fighting Wilder. You're not even ranked in WBC. Like, what the fuck? What's that about? Why are you mentioning a man? It's not even in your universe. Joyce versus Wilder isn't even in his universe. And the man that is, Usyk, he, he ain't said nothing. He hasn't. I haven't heard nothing. Yeah, okay, after fight week. Fine, but since then... This last month should have been pure pressure from Joe begging and applying legal pressure and whatever else and public pressure to demand Usyk back in the ring. Instead, he his statement, Team Joyce's position is we're happy to wait for Fury and Usyk to finish it out. Fury's fighting Chisora in December, what the fuck is that's how bad it is, people. Joe Joyce is happy to cuck himself for a fight that's down the line. It's not even immediately next. Joe Joyce is happy today to cuck himself for a fight that might not even take place a year from now. I mean, let's be real now. How many of you, yeah, would be shocked to know that Fury versus Usyk wouldn't happen in the next year? I'm sorry. I believe there's a good 50-60% chance, or well, there's at least a 50% chance... All jokes aside, yeah, I reckon there's a 50% chance Fury vs. Usyk doesn't happen in the next year. I've got to be honest with you. Based on what's been going on in boxing, look at Spence vs. Crawford. Undisputed. Did it happen? Them two fighters, yeah, have nowhere to go. There's absolutely no reason that fight shouldn't happen. And look where we are. Didn't happen. AJ vs. Fury. Really? There's absolutely no reason that fight shouldn't happen. It hasn't happened. And you've got Joyce's team willingly cucking themselves. Yeah, we're happy to wait for a fight that's barely 50% chance of happening. And that's the best The best case scenario is, yeah, that this fight happens. But think about the worst case. The worst case is, is that Joe has to sit around waiting for six months of fake negotiations for then the fight to maybe or maybe not happen. Do you understand? That's even worse. It's one thing the fight not happening. It's another thing when you have a year of negotiations going back and forth. For it then to flop. As a 38 year old man. But listen. End of the day man. I made loads of videos. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. But I know, I know this game. I know this particular situation Joe's in. I made loads of videos. Blatantly obvious what Joe needs to do. And he's done nothing. His team have done nothing. And I'm telling you now, a year from now, Joe Joyce would have fought nothing but bums. Not because he doesn't want to fight, but because... In this game, yeah, 
I mean, look at Dillian White. Dillian White was never a threat to anyone. Dillian White's useless. And even he struggled to get things he wasn't entitled to, in that sense. In this game, when you're a threat, you don't get anything unless you've got it pinned down. That's how it works. No one's going to rock up and just choose to fight Joe Joyce. Least of all, Usyk. Usyk already complained, oh, Joe Joyce isn't a big name. Mr. Boxing Purist was complaining that him and Joyce is a 90-10 fight. Oh, um, if I fight Joe Joyce, he's only getting a 6% split. That's what U6 team said, word for word. And you think them, you think a man who thinks you're worth 6% is going to get in there and jump in there with you? Are you serious? But Team Joyce, they seem to be serious. They seem to seriously think that a fight... A big fight and a big belt is just going to drop out of the sky. I've got to be honest with you. It's shocking. And that's why I tell you. I'm 70% sure a year from now, Joe Joyce will have sat around fighting more Christian Hammers. Because he and his team have been naive. Again. I wouldn't mind if this was... Honestly, I wouldn't mind, yeah, if this was the first time. Joe, you've just sat around for two years. He beat Dubois two years ago. It took you two years to get a fight against a, a random washed up nobody in Parker. That's what your team delivered in two years after a hot win. I've got to be honest. Joe Joyce, yeah, stopping Dubois is the best win. Really, outside of world championship fights, there's no win better. But I'm like, who outside of world championships has a better win than a KO over Dubois? No one does. No one does. Dubois just knocked out some WBA regular bum. That's how good Dubois is in that sense. I'm not saying I'm not saying Trevor Bumman's any good, but I'm saying that Dubois had, Dubois's not shown to be completely useless. And we saw what Joe Joyce did to him. And what has Joe Joyce been rewarded with after achieving the best non-world championship win? And not being funny, yeah, I've got to be honest. Even within world champion wins, Usyk didn't stop AJ. Okay, Usyk has two wins over AJ. In my opinion, they was two nip or tuck wins. They weren't. People talk about outboxing, yeah? It wasn't like, bear in mind people, yeah, this is the heavyweight division. When I talk about dominating someone, I don't talk about what Usyk did with AJ. Usyk had two glorified sparring sessions with AJ. They weren't dominations, yeah? Heavyweight dominations are like what Fury did to Wilder in the second fight. That's a heavyweight domination. Not what Usyk gone life and death based on what, based on the way I score things. Usyk went life and death with AJ and came out on top twice. Yeah, nip and tuck fights, nothing in them. So even that, got to be honest, even at the world championship level, there's only one man. Tyson Fury has a solid win. Tyson Fury has a solid win over Wilder. That ranks above what Joyce did with Dubois. But apart from that, I'm sorry. In the last three or four years, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, Joe Joyce has the best wins. Joe Joyce is number two, really, behind Wilder. Sorry, behind Fury. You've got Fury number one, who has the wins over Dillian White and the wins over Wilder. And then you've got Joe Joyce number two, with the KO over Joseph Parker and the KO over Dubois. He's number two. Joe Joyce is number two in the world over the last two, three years of form. AJ doesn't have a win, doesn't have a KO win over someone like Parker or someone like Dubois, and neither does Wilder. Oops, not being funny. Put Dubois in there with Luis Ortiz. That there's a fifty-fifty fight. Yeah, I'd probably back Dubois to win it as well. Truth be known, in fact, that'd be a great. I wouldn't mind watching that fight. Anyway, Joe Joyce, please, man, if you don't want to reach out, and I'll, I'll pass you the game for free. I'll do it for free. If you don't want to do that, at least take your own initiative. Nothing in this game, particularly hard fights, get done unless you put yourself in a position to demand it. Please do something. Publicly, every day or every other day, you should be airing out USIC and airing out WBO. Behind closed doors, you should be legally pursuing the WBO. That's, I've done so many videos going into depth about the actual process of what needs to happen. 
I'm not going to bore everyone to tears, but come on. I want this. I want this for Joe. I want nothing more than to see Joe Joyce go in there and watch. I think Joe Joyce drags Usyk. I need to see it. I need to see Usyk have a real heavyweight test. He hasn't had one yet. Yeah, he's fought a, he's fought a big, heartless weightlifter so far. No good. I know Fury can beat Usyk. Usyk versus Joyce, that really is a proper fight. And the fact Usyk shit himself and tries to get all political, that's why the fight needs to happen even more so. Anyway, smash the like button, subscribe. It's Amanda YB, and he'll be back 100%.